Fall is coming. Hi everyone, let's talk about the top fall TV shows of 2016. These are the shows that we're excited about or looking forward to. We're going to be splitting them between new shows and returning shows. Let's jump into the new shows. Quarry. Based on the novels by Max Allen Collins about a Marine Mac Quarry, Conway, who returns home to Memphis from fighting in Vietnam and gets involved in a network of killing and corruption as he tries to make ends meet and deal with his experiences at war. I haven't seen the series yet, but I'm curious about it because it involves some of the same people that were involved in Banshee, and since I love Banshee, you know, I just kind of have to watch it. The Good Place. In the show, Eleanor Shellstrup is in heaven, aka the good place, after she just died, but she realizes that they made a mistake and she really should have been going to hell, so comedy ensues. Starring Kristen Bell and Ted Danson, I'm really excited because we watched the first episode and it was really, really funny. Kristen Bell is true to form, funny, funny, funny. Cannot wait to see more. This Is Us. It tells the story of people born on the same day and it stars Mandy Mora, Milo Ventimiglia, and Justin Hartley. Now, I know there's not much to go on with this, but trust me, it's really good. Like, I watched the first episode and I was like, it sounds like, yeah, it sounds like a show I would enjoy, but by the end, I'm like, bring tissues, it's emotional, it's um, just, just at least just, just watch the first episode up until the end. If you don't like it by then, I'm guessing it's probably not for you, but I'm personally curious to see where they go from there. Bull, starring NCIS's Michael Weatherly as Dr. Jason Bull, the founder of one of the most prolific trial consulting firms of all times. He combines psychology, human intuition, high-tech data to learn what makes jurors, attorneys, witnesses, and the accused tick. It's a drama inspired by the early career of Dr. Phil. Saw the first episode, loved it. Just, just my kind of show. Michael Weatherly is awesome. I cannot wait to see more of this show. So definitely one of my new faves. Designated Survivor, starring Kiefer Sutherland. It's about the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, Tom Kirkman, who becomes president after an attack during the night of the state union kills pretty much everyone. And uh, he happened to be the designated survivor during that night. And now he'll have to figure out how to, you know, do the right thing and uh, lead America through this time of tragedy. If you're a fan of Kiefer Sutherland like I am, this is probably something you might enjoy. The first episode, it lays the ground to him becoming president, but we'll see where it goes from there. Speechless follows the DeMeo family led by their mom, Maya, who will do anything for her family, including their son, JJ, who has cerebral palsy. They move to a new neighborhood for better access for JJ and in order to find his voice. Saw the first episode, definitely one of my favorites, really funny. I think it reminded me a little bit of My Name is Earl. It kind of had that vibe going on and for it. And Raising Hope. And Raising My Hope. So it has that vibe in there. So I was like, oh, yes. New comedy. Van Helsing. Set in the near future where vampires have risen and taken control, Vanessa Van Helsing is humanity's last hope as her unique blood composition gives her the ability to turn vampires human. Twists! Yes. You can make vampires humans. I mean, you really had me at vampires. Aftermath. Centered on the Copeland family, a couple and their three children trying to survive as civilization comes to an end around them. In addition to facing natural disasters, they will also face supernatural creatures. Saw the trailer. Looks kind of cool. Not sure. This looks kind of cool, so I definitely want to watch it. Crisis in Six Scenes. This is a Woody Allen created series which will feature six half-hour episodes. It takes place in the 1960s during turbulent times in the United States, and a middle-class suburban family is visited by a guest who turns their household completely upside down. I'm curious about it. I mean, Woody Allen, it's hit or miss for me, but it's six episodes on Amazon. I have to give it a shot. Marvel's Luke Cage! Series focused on the character of Luke Cage. We meet in the Netflix series Marvel's Jessica Jones. He's trying to clear his name and save his neighborhood in this intro series. So we've talked about this. Uh, we did a trailer breakdown. I've talked at length at how ridiculously excited I am about the show. So that's it. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Oh my God. 
Westworld, based on a 1973 film of the same name which was written and directed by Michael Crichton, the series tells the story of a futuristic theme park called Westworld. Now this is possibly the new show I'm most excited about. Robots, future, theme parks, I mean, yes. Timeless, the unlikely team of a history professor, a soldier, and a scientist with the access to a time-traveling device are tasked to stop a time-traveling criminal from rewriting history. Saw the first episode, really liked the first episode. I think it has a lot of legs. I can't wait to see more. Frequency, inspired by the 2000 film of the same name, a NYPD detective, Remy Sullivan, discovers that she's able to speak to her deceased father, Frank Sullivan, in 1996 via his old ham radio. Her attempts to save his life trigger the butterfly effect, changing the present in unforeseen ways. To fix the damage, she must work with her father across time to solve a decades-old murder case. I really, really enjoyed the movie that the show is based on, and uh, I've seen the first episode of the series, and I thought they did a pretty good job at, you know, making it into a show. No Tomorrow. The series follows a woman who becomes involved with a free-spirited guy who inspires her to make an apocalypse, which is a list of things to do before the world ends, which he claims will be in eight months, 12 days. With the help of her friends, they try to find out if he can be taken seriously while still completing the bucket list. I saw the first episode, I think there's going to be a lot of people who will like this show. Freakish. The show centers on a group of students who must fight for survival when predatory mutant freaks take over after a meltdown at the local chemical plant. Now I'm going solely on synopsis with this one, and mostly hoping it's kind of like the faculty movie. Because I love that movie. <laughs> Falling Water. Three unrelated people slowly realize they are dreaming separate parts of a single common dream. Drama ensues. <laughs> Drama ensues. <laughs> I saw the trailer and based on the trailer and the concept, it had a very Inception-like vibe to it. And I was a huge fan of the show Inception. So based on that and that alone, I'm really interested in watching this show. Good Girls Revolt. It takes place in 1969 and follows a group of young female researchers at News of the Week who ask to be treated fairly. Their revolutionary request sparks convulsive changes and upends marriages, careers, sex lives, love lives, and friendships. So far, I've only seen a clip, although the first episode is available to watch if you want to check it out. And it definitely seems like my type of show. Like, I was like, why haven't I been watching this already? So. Really looking forward to taking out more of it. Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. It follows the bizarre adventures of eccentric holistic detective Dirk Gently and his reluctant assistant Todd, played by Elijah Wood, set in the world of the hyper-absurd detective. Now, this is actually a, a remake of a previous UK series, and I love the UK series. And if it follows the same kind of like vibe, this is going to be a very fun show to watch. So I highly encourage you to watch because Dirk Gently is some crazy-ish, <laughs> like really crazy. The Crown. It will trace the life of Queen Elizabeth II from her wedding in 1947 to the present day. It is expected to span 60 episodes over six seasons. I don't know about you, but it sounds kind of epic. And Netflix has released a clip from the series and I was getting really emotional and I was like, this looks like a really good show. So, you know, gonna watch it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, The Crown, I don't even know what it's about. I was like, this is for century. <laughs> Incorporated centers around Ben Larson, a young executive who risks everything to infiltrate the all controlling corporate world and save the woman he loves. In the process, he will take on the entire system with deadly consequences. The trailer for me really sold it, right? It looks futuristic. It looks like there's some drama mystery in there. Yeah, I'm in. Shut Eye. It takes a darkly comedic look at the world of Los Angeles storefront psychics and the organized crime syndicate that runs them. I think I'm mostly going with the synopsis and the fact that Jeffrey Donovan is in it and also they released a trailer which has an interesting feel to it so I'm curious about this one. And finally we have one honorable mention which is the Rocky Horror Picture Show which is a remake of the 1975 musical film. I feel like I shouldn't really explain what it is because if you haven't seen it then you should watch it because it's called film and if you've watched it then you know you get it. 
I'm super excited about it. It's a musical, it's one night, it's just a jump to the left and then a step to the right. <laughs> And now let's talk about returning shows that we're really excited about. <laughs> Narcos back for a season two. Super excited, already on Netflix. You got to go watch it. Once Upon a Time, season six, yes. Last season was one of my favorites, and this season it looks like we're delving into some new mythology, and I'm really excited about it. So, you know, plus we're reviewing the show. Blind Spot entering its second season as well. Really, really, really excited after seeing the finale of season one. I don't know where they're gonna go with this. They're really, the show is gonna be upended. So, good stuff. Pole Dark. Oh my God, Pole Dark is like, where have you been all my life? I love you. And I'm so excited that it was renewed for season two and then it's almost premiering. Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This doesn't require any introduction. We're reviewing it again. We're doing a live Q&A. Two words though, Ghost Rider. Oh yeah. Younger, another one of my favorite shows. It always puts me in a really good mood. And by the way, Team Josh all the way. Elementary back for a new season. I have to say last season was a mixed bag, but it's still Sherlock. I'm still loving the whole, you know, interaction between him and Watson, so excited for a new season. Shameless. Every season I'm reminded why I love this show. It's just consistently good. Like you would think after six seasons, but no, it's still good. It's amazing. I love it. I'm so excited to see the Gallaghers again. And I mean, what can you possibly do now? The Flash season three. Oh my. What should we say about the Flash? We're in love with it. One word, Flashpoint. Arrow. I'm kind of excited. This is the last season that we'll be getting flashbacks because to be honest, I'm kind of over the flashbacks, but mostly I'm excited for, for just like, you know, a new season, new exciting things. And it seems like there's gonna be some Flashpoint effects on Arrow. So I'm excited about that as well. Black Mirror on Netflix. Oh God. Guys, season one is just amazing. And if you didn't watch the special Christmas episode, holy crap, you're missing out. So season two, I just can't even wait. I can't even deal. I cannot. Just a warning though, it is pretty messed up of a it show. It is a messed up show. <laughs> so, you know, Cut just it. watch it. But it's good messed up. Yeah, it's good messed it's up, good messed but up. you know, just be aware. It's really it's messed weird. up. Jane the Virgin, just feel good, makes me happy, it's funny. I just, I just love it. The Vampire Diaries, final season. I've stuck it through, I've enjoyed it all throughout. And I'm actually excited to find out how they wrap it up because last season was pretty, pretty good. And I'm reviewing the show this season, this final season. So that's exciting too. Teen Wolf, back for its final season. We are very, very excited. We have reviews, Q and A's, and it's the final season. It's so sad. Oh my God. <sighs> Supergirl. We're reviewing Supergirl this season and we caught up to last season, which is crazy. Cause Insane. my favorite character is John Jones. Did I tell you that? You didn't tell me that. Yeah, he's cool. The Librarians. Oh, this show is like just my all time favorite feel good show. Adventure, mystery, comedy. Just, just watch it. If you've never watched it, you're missing out. Yeah. Your life is not complete. And if you were a fan of like shows like Warehouse 13 or yeah. Eureka, I mean, this is your this show. Is it. The Walking Dead. We gotta find out who Negan freaking killed because it's been way too long. I mean, we know who he killed in the comic books, but I don't think it's gonna be the same person. So, you know, just tell me. Men in the High Castle. I recently caught up to the first season and it's really, really interesting show and concept and the way it ended, my God. So yeah, gotta know what happened there because yes. And finally, we're gonna quickly share some of our favorite comedies returning. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, The Goldbergs, Superstore, The Middle, Fresh Off the Boat, The Mindy Project. So excited about these, so funny. It's a nice break when you watch Walking Dead and then you're like, Mindy Project, ooh, <laughs> that's nice. And then one final honorable mention because it's not technically a series, but I gotta mention it. It's Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life, which uh, Netflix thankfully revived. I mean, is it November yet? And those are all the shows that we're looking forward to this fall. I feel like every year, 
the number grows larger. Yeah. Like it's getting big. But that's what we're gonna be watching. What are you gonna be watching? What are the new and returning TV shows you're really excited about? Comment below and let us know. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. And uh, if you're really excited about shows like The Vampire Diaries, Once Upon a Time, Teen Wolf, The Flash, etc., etc., we've actually done some videos sharing what we know so far about the new season. So we'll put the links in the description for those so you can check them out.